The practice test focuses on temperature requirements and time allowances for different types of foods. It's important that you memorize as many of these as you can, because some of them will be on your self-safe manager exam. Question twenty one: A dish that contains ground poultry as an ingredient should be cooked to what minimum internal temperature? A one hundred and fifty five degrees F for seventeen seconds. B one hundred and sixty five degrees F for less than one second. C one hundred and forty five degrees F for fifteen seconds. D one hundred and thirty five degrees F for no minimum time. Answer B: One hundred and sixty-five degrees F for less than one second. Explanation: All poultry, chicken, turkey, duck should be cooked to an internal temperature of one hundred and sixty-five degrees F. There is no time requirement; it only needs to reach this temperature for a moment. Other ground meats and fish should be cooked to one hundred and fifty-five degrees F for seventeen seconds. But because this example includes poultry, it must be cooked to one hundred and sixty-five degrees F. Other foods that should be cooked to one hundred and sixty-five degrees F for less than one second: poultry, including whole or ground chicken, turkey or duck, stuffing made with fish, meat or poultry. Stuff meat, seafood, poultry, or pasta. Dishes that include previously cooked TCS ingredients, raw ingredients should be cooked to their required minimum internal temperatures. Question twenty two: Ground beef, pork, or other meats should be cooked to what minimum internal temperature? A one hundred and fifty five degrees F for seventeen seconds. B one hundred and sixty five degrees F for less than one second. C one hundred and forty five degrees F for four minutes. D one hundred and forty five degrees F for fifteen seconds. Answer A. Explanation: Ground meat such as beef, pork, and other meat should be cooked to one hundred and fifty five degrees F for seventeen seconds. This does not apply to poultry, chicken, turkey, duck, which should always be cooked to one hundred and sixty five degrees F. Other foods that should be cooked to one hundred and fifty five degrees F for seventeen seconds: ground meat, including beef, pork, and other meat. Injected meat, including brine, ham, and flavor injected roasts. Mechanically tender rinds meat. Ground meat from game animals commercially raised and inspected. Reptiles, mostly flightless birds with flat breastbones, including ostrich and emu. Ground seafood, including chopped or minced seafood. Shell eggs that will be hot held for service. Question twenty three: Shell eggs that will be served immediately, not hot held, should be cooked to what minimum temperature? A one hundred and fifty five degrees F for seventeen seconds. B one hundred and sixty five degrees F for less than one second. C one hundred and forty five degrees F for fifteen seconds. D one hundred and forty five degrees F for four minutes. Answer C. Explanation: Shell eggs are eggs that are stewed in the shell, as distinguished from dried or powdered eggs. There are two different cooking time or temperature requirements for shell eggs. If the shell eggs will be served immediately, they only need to be cooked to one hundred and forty-five degrees F for fifteen seconds. But if the shell eggs will be hot held for service, they should be cooked to one hundred and fifty-five degrees F. For seventeen seconds, other foods that should be cooked to one hundred and forty-five degrees F for fifteen seconds: seafood, including fish, shellfish, and crustaceans; steaks or chops of pork, beef, veal, and lamb; commercially raised game; shell eggs that will be served immediately. Question twenty-four: steaks, chops, or fillets of pork. Beef, veal, and lamb should be cooked to what minimum internal temperature? 
A one hundred and sixty five degrees F for less than one second. B one hundred and fifty five degrees F for seventeen seconds. C one hundred and forty five degrees F for fifteen seconds. D one hundred and forty five degrees F for four minutes. Answer C. 145 degrees F for 15 seconds. Explanation. Steaks, chops and fillets are thinner cuts of meat than roast. Because they are thinner, they only need to be cooked to 145 degrees F for 15 seconds. Because roasts are thicker, they must be cooked at this temperature for 4 minutes. Other foods that should be cooked to 145 degrees F for 15 seconds. Seafood, including fish, shellfish and crustaceans, steaks, chops of pork, beef, veal and lamb. Commercially raised game, shell acts that will be served immediately. Question 25. Fish should be cooked to what minimum internal temperature? A. 155 degrees F for 17 seconds. B. 145 degrees F for 15 seconds. C. 145 degrees F for 4 minutes. D. 165 degrees F for less than 1 second. Answer B. Explanation. Both fresh water and salt water fish are considered seafood and should be cooked to an internal temperature of 145 degrees F for 15 seconds. Other foods that should be cooked to 145 degrees F for 15 seconds. Seafood, including fish, shellfish and crustaceans. Steaks or chops of pork, beef, veal and lamb. Commercially raised game. Shell acts that will be served immediately. Question 26. Flavor injected roasts should be cooked to what minimum internal temperature? A. 165 degrees F for less than 1 second. B. 155 degrees F for 17 seconds. C. 145 degrees F for 15 seconds. D. 145 degrees F for 4 minutes. Answer B. Explanation. Roads injected with flavoring and brine meats such as ham should be cooked to 155 degrees F for 17 seconds. Roads that are not flavor injected should be cooked to 100 and 45 degrees F for 4 minutes. These rules do not include poultry, which should always be cooked to 165 degrees F. Other foods that should be cooked to 155 degrees F for 17 seconds. Ground meat, including beef, bark and other meat. Injected meat, including brine ham and flavor injected roast. Mechanically tenderized meat ground meat from game animals commercially raised and inspected. Ratines, mostly flightless birds with flat breastbones, including ostrich and emu. Ground seafood, including chopped or minced seafood. Shell acts that will be hot held for service. Question 27. Stuffed pasta, seafood, meat or poultry should be cooked to what minimum internal temperature? A. 155 degrees F for 17 seconds. B. 165 degrees F for less than 1 second. C. 145 degrees F for 4 minutes. D. 135 degrees F, no minimum time. Answer B. Explanation. Stuffed pasta, seafood, meat or poultry should be cooked to 165 degrees F. There is no time requirement. It only needs to reach this temperature for a moment. Other foods that should be cooked to 165 degrees F for less than one second. Poultry including whole or ground chicken, turkey or duck. 
Stuffing made with fish, meat, or poultry. Stuff meat, seafood, poultry, or pasta. Dishes that include previously cooked TCS ingredients, raw ingredients should be cooked to their required minimum internal temperatures. Question twenty eight. Food from plants that will be hot held for service should be cooked to what minimum temperature? A one hundred and sixty five degrees F for less than one second. B one hundred and fifty five degrees F for seventeen seconds. C one hundred and thirty five degrees F no minimum time. D one hundred and forty five degrees F for fifteen seconds. Answer C. One hundred and thirty-five degrees F. No minimum time. Question twenty-nine. Shell eggs that will be hot held for service should be cooked to what minimum temperature? A. One hundred and sixty-five degrees F for less than one second. B. One hundred and fifty-five degrees F for seventeen seconds. C. One hundred and forty-five degrees F for four minutes. D one hundred and forty five degrees F for fifteen seconds. Answer B. Explanation: Shell eggs are eggs that are still in the shell, as distinguished from dried or powdered eggs. There are two different cooking time or temperature requirements for shell eggs. If the shell eggs will be hot held for service, they should be cooked to one hundred and fifty five degrees F for seventeen seconds. But if the shell eggs will be served immediately, they only need to be cooked to one hundred and forty five degrees F for fifteen seconds. Other foods that should be cooked to one hundred and fifty five degrees F for seventeen seconds: ground meat, including beef, pork, and other meat; injected meat. Including brine ham and flavor injected roast, mechanically tenderized meat, ground meat from game animals commercially raised and inspected, ratines, mostly flightless birds with flat breastbones, including ostrich and emu, ground seafood including chopped or minced seafood, shell eggs that will be hot held for service. Question thirty: Ratines, large flightless birds such as ostrich or emu, should be cooked to what minimum internal temperature? A. One hundred and sixty-five degrees F for less than one second. B. One hundred and forty-five degrees F for fifteen seconds. C. One hundred and fifty-five degrees F for seventeen seconds. D. One hundred and forty-five degrees F for four minutes. Answer C. One hundred and fifty-five degrees F for seventeen seconds. Explanation: Ratines are large flying less birds with flat breastbones, such as ostrich or emu. They should be cooked to an internal temperature of one hundred and fifty-five degrees F for seventeen seconds. But poultry, chicken, turkey, duck should be cooked to one hundred and sixty-five degrees F for any length of time. Other foods that should be cooked to one hundred and fifty-five degrees F for seventeen seconds: ground meat, including beef, pork, and other meat; injected meat, including brine ham, and flavor injected roast; mechanically tenderized meat; ground meat from game animals commercially raised and inspected; ratines, mostly flightless birds with flat breastbones, including ostrich and emu. Ground seafood, including chopped or minced seafood, shell eggs that will be hot held for service. Question thirty one: What is the minimum water temperature for the final sanitizing rinse in a high temperature dishwashing machine? A one hundred and sixty five degrees F, B one hundred and eighty degrees F, C one hundred and fifty five degrees F. D one hundred and seventy one degrees F. Answer B, 
explanation. The final sanitizing rinse in a high temperature dishwashing machine should be at least 180 degrees F. For a single temperature stationary rack machine, the water must be at least 165 degrees F. Both types of dishwashers must have a built-in thermometer that checks the water temperature of the manifold. This is where the water sprays into the tank. Question 32. You are reheating a previously cooked TCS food for Mercula that will be hot out for service. To what minimum temperature must the food be reheated before being hot out for service? A. 165 degrees F for less than 1 second B. 145 degrees F for 15 seconds C. 135 degrees F, no minimum time D. It does not need to be reheated Answer A. 165 degrees F for less than 1 second Explanation a previously cooked TCS food that will be hot health for service, not immediately served, must be reheated to 165 degrees F within two hours of its removal from the cooler. After that, it should be hot health at 135 degrees F as usual. Also, a new dish that contains previously cooked TCS food as an ingredient should be cooked to 165 degrees F. However, if the previously cooked TCS food was cooked and cooled correctly, and if it will be immediately served to a guest, not hot held, it does not need to be reheated at all and can be served at any temperature. Question 33. You are receiving a delivery of hot TCS food. What is the minimum temperature that you should receive the food at? A. 135 degrees F B. 145 degrees F C. 155 degrees F D. 165 degrees F Answer 135 degrees F Explanation a delivery of hot CCS food should be received at 135 degrees F or higher, and if it's not, you should reject the delivery. 135 degrees F is the upper limit of the temperature danger zone. This is why hot TCS food should be received and hot held at this temperature or higher. Question 34. How long can a cold held TCS food remain in the temperature danger zone before it must be served or thrown out? A. 4 hours B. 2 hours C. 8 hours D. 6 hours Answer D. 6 hours Explanation Cold held TCS food can remain in the temperature danger zone for up to 6 hours before it must be served or thrown out. Cold held TCS food is different from raw and hot held TCS food, which can only remain in the temperature danger zone for up to 4 hours. The reason cold held TCS food is different is that it's less likely to have spent as much time within the temperature range where bacteria grow the most rapidly. The temperature danger zone is a wide range of temperatures between 41 degrees F and 135 degrees F, but bacteria grow the most rapidly within the smaller range of 70 degrees F and 125 degrees F. Hot TCS food is held at 135 degrees F or higher, and cold TCS food is held at 41 degrees F or lower. Hot food only has to drop 10 degrees F before it enters the temperature range where bacteria grow the most rapidly.
but cold food has to rise 29 degrees F before it enters that temperature range. This is why 6 hours is allowed for cold healthy CS food, but only 4 hours is allowed for hot healthy CS food. Although raw TCS food is stored at 41 degrees F or lower, it has not been cooked, so the pathogens have been not killed yet. This is why raw TCS food is only allowed 4 hours in the temperature danger zone. Question 35. You are receiving a delivery of milk. What is the maximum temperature that the milk should be received at? A. 45 degrees F, B. 41 degrees F, C. 44 degrees F, D. 42 degrees F. Answer A. Explanation. Most cold TCS foods should be received at a maximum temperature of 41 degrees F, but milk, shellfish and shell eggs are an exception. Milk can be received at a maximum temperature of 45 degrees F, but it should be cooled to 41 degrees F or lower within 4 hours of delivery. Question 36. You are receiving a delivery of live shellfish. What maximum air temperature should they be received at? A. 41 degrees F B. 45 degrees F C. 50 degrees F D. 35 degrees F Answer B. Explanation Most cold TCS food should be received at a maximum air temperature of 41 degrees F, but shellfish, milk and shell eggs are an exception. Live shellfish may be received at a maximum air temperature of 45 degrees F, and a maximum internal temperature of 50 degrees F is also acceptable. In either case, the live shellfish should be brought down to 41 degrees F or lower within 4 hours of receiving. Question 37. What is the minimum temperature for TCS foods that being hot health for service? A. 135 degrees F B. 145 degrees F C. 125 degrees F D. 70 degrees F Answer A. Explanation Hot towel foods should remain at 135 degrees F or higher. This is the upper limit of the temperature danger zone. If the food falls below 135 degrees F and into the temperature danger zone for 4 hours, it must be served or thrown out. When receiving a shipment of hot TCS food, it must be received at a maximum temperature of 135 degrees F. And if the food is lower than this temperature, the delivery should be rejected. Question 38. In which temperature range do bacteria grow the most rapidly, even more rapidly than the temperature danger zone? A. Between 70 degrees F and 125 degrees F. B. Between 41 degrees F and 135 degrees F. C. Between 32 degrees F and, one, and 212 degrees F. D. Between 70 degrees F and 135 degrees F. Answer A. Explanation. Bacteria grow the most rapidly within the temperature range of 70 degrees F and 125 degrees F, but the temperature danger zone is the wider range of 41 degrees F to 135 degrees F. Question 39. When cooling a hot TCS food for cold storage, how quickly must you bring the temperature down from 70 degrees F to 41 degrees F or lower? A. 6 hours B. 4 hours C. 8 hours D. 2 hours
Answer B. Explanation. Hot TCS food should be cooled before being put into cold storage. Hot TCS food is held at 135 degrees F or higher, but it must be brought down to 41 degrees F or lower before being placed in the cooler. This range of temperatures is the temperature danger zone, so we must be careful and do it quickly. The food should be brought down from 135 degrees F to 70 degrees F within two hours. Then it should be brought down from 70 degrees F to 41 degrees F within four hours. The total amount of time for the cooling process should take no longer than six hours. The reason the food must be brought down through the range is more quickly than the range of 70 degrees F to 41 degrees F is that bacteria grow the most rapidly within the temperature range of 70 degrees F to 125 degrees F. Question 40. What is the total amount of time that you should allow for cooling a hot TCS food down from 135 degrees F to 41 degrees F or lower before putting it into cold storage? A. 2 hours or less. B. 4 hours or less. C. 1 hour or less. D. 6 hours or less. Answer D. Explanation. Hot TCS food should be cooled before being put into cold storage. Hot TCS food is held at 135 degrees F or higher, but it must be brought down to 41 degrees F or lower before being placed in the cooler. This range of temperatures is the temperature danger zone, so we must be careful and do it quickly. The food should be brought down from 135 degrees F to 70 degrees F within 2 hours. Then it should be brought down from 70 degrees F to 41 degrees F within 4 hours. The total amount of time for the cooling process should take no longer than 6 hours. The reason the food must be brought down through the range is more quickly than the range of 70 degrees F to 41 degrees F is that bacteria grow the most rapidly within the temperature range of 70 degrees F to 125 degrees F. Thank you for watching.